Hello everyone, <clears throat> this is Eugene Online with a video of a listing that is current as of today's date, 9-10-21 in our ETL Lupana Market eBay store. This video will cover this jewel of an amplifier speaker package. It is the Ashdown Perfect 1060 amplifier stack. This 60 watt package is legendary among musicians worldwide. After opening the dead amplifier, when I first received it, uh, we discovered that it had a shorted MOSFET transistor. We replaced all three of the MOSFET transistors. Everything cleaned up very nicely. No hard knocks anywhere. The case is in mint, beautiful condition. It's only missing the strap style handle that's on the top of the amplifier. You can see the two little round holes uh, where that handle mounts. It's a beautiful, warm sounding unit with good output for practicing and for small venue gigs. Not for entertaining at Yankee Stadium. It's a beautiful system and we're just going to go through a few of the operational features of it shortly. Okay guys, it's time to take a closer look at our unit. First of all, just wanted to know, this microphone is not <laughs> included, but it helps you to see what the unit is capable of doing. So let's take a look at a few things. Uh, first of all, right over here, you've got your instrument input. This is where your guitar, whatever you want to have control over with these operational buttons here, the equalizer and the gain and the deep bass, that's where you plug in for that. All right, so here's your input gain. This increases the signal going into the system to be amplified. So you can get more sound out of the other end when you control it here with the output level. You have a three band equalizer, all right? Bass, mid-range, treble. You can adjust that and fine tune the sound coming from your instrument or the mic, for instance. Then you have a CD input, they call it. Now, mind you, you're not restricted to just CDs. You can put another type of source, plug it into there, and then that will play through. You will not have all the control, like the input gain and all that. You'll have to control it from the system that you're using or just with your output level adjustment. That's it. And then, of course, you got headphones. So if you don't want to disturb your family while you're playing uh, Jimi Hendrix on your guitar, <laughs> just use your headphones and plug them right into here. And of course, they've got your meter so you can see actually what kind of power you're outputting volume wise while you're playing. So it's your VU meter. Okay, it is a fantastic unit. Nice and compact, doesn't take up a ton of space. And uh, let's take a look now at the back. I'm just going to carefully with one hand see if I can get this turned around without causing any problems. Let's see what I can do. Okay, there we go. Okay, not a whole lot to look at back here, but as you can see, they have good venting with the system. You can see the heat sink through there, in fact. And that's where the MOSFETs are right there on that heat sink there, all right, inside the case. And then, of course, here's your outputs for the two speakers. 
And uh, like I said, <clears throat> we're going to put these cables in with the system. They're yours. Uh, you buy the system, you will get those. Uh, now, I mentioned that it didn't have that little carry strap thing on the top. That thing is not, it's kind of flimsy. I would much rather grab this by the sides, put it into a carry case, close it, keep it protected so that the electronics and everything is not open to weather conditions. That's my preference. It's up to you. If you want to get a carry strap, put it up there, that's fine. All right, then your speakers, of course, stack. These units all have these heavy-duty corners on them. They're grooved and specially set so that it locks the units in position on top of each other so it's nice and stable. Won't easily fall off of there. All right, the speakers are in fantastic condition. I took the grills off and clean that all up inside uh, so there's no dust and dirt in there. The speakers are nice and clean and the grills were especially washed so that they got all the dust and dirt out of them so we went from gray to nice gloss black. So very nice. Uh, and like I said, there's no uh, strange stuff going on anywhere. On the back of the unit, it looks really good. Let me see. I will try to turn one of these speakers around so you can see the back. Okay, so you can see the back of the speaker now, and it has the uh, factory plate right on the back with the connection right there. So definitely, this is the real deal. Both of the speakers are like this, clean on the back. All right, hope you like watching this. And if you did, you'll really enjoy using it because it is one fantastic system and it's waiting for you.